This week on Artsbeat, a teenage curator makes her debut with an exhibit featuring young artists and a public space performance by the Streb Extreme Action Company. New York City, are you ready for some action? We are the Streb Extreme Action Company from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Double dip, and go! This week we got a chance to visit a rehearsal for a new site-specific dance piece by the choreographer Elizabeth Streb. It's called Ascension and it was commissioned by the Whitney Museum for a spot near its new home in the Meatpacking District in Manhattan. Rock the boat. The piece uses a rotating 21-foot ladder as its focal point. The ladder is this, this quotidian machine that everybody uses, you know, functionally, and, you, and it's a utilitarian device that workers, high-class people, and all people need to get to places that they can't access just with their body. So I think there's something very profound about it. Elizabeth Streb is not your average dance company. It's known for its mix of athleticism, acrobatics, rigor. The dancers are really daredevils as much as they are dancers. It's not uncommon for the dancers to get hurt. But if you want to be an action hero, an action specialist, you walk into a room and you agree to get hurt the way a football player gets hurt. We're, we're that kind of tough. Elizabeth Streb has collaborated with the Whitney before. In 2010, she did a piece by the choreographer Trisha Brown where she walked down the side of the museum's building uptown. She is used to putting her dancers in perilous positions, and this piece, Ascension, is no different. That's the worst thing. One of the worst things that could happen, besides someone falling off, is letting go on this side and crashing the other people. You can catch it for free several times a day in public all this week. I start my career now instead of having to wait a while and just go through high school and that's my only focus. I didn't want that to be my only focus. This is the Open Center where this exhibition is opening on July 7th. It features artists aged 15 to the old man in the group who just turned 20 and it was organized by a 17 year old high school student, Audrey Banks, who called every high school in New York and sent the message out to the world on Facebook. So you have, you know, this kind of biomorphic Rice Krispie sculpture. You have this kind of Dada instrument made out of a cigar box. And then you have this very traditional figure study, beautifully rendered. Mm -hmm. Do they fit a theme for you? They just kind of fit the general theme of kids can create, like, very technically well done pieces, as well as ones that seem very sophisticated and well thought out visually and aesthetically. The first thing I did was talk to people. Then I sent out the Facebook page. So in total, it's probably like 6,000 kids wow. on the page. So basically, from beginning to end, Audrey was in charge. And I just feel like if she's an example of what teenagers are like today, I think we're going to be we're in really good hands. I first came up with the idea to make this new gallery about two years ago, and that was mostly for myself. Over time, I met a lot of people my age as well who were like set on being artists and really felt like they wanted to take the work they had now and show it now. So, um, what did you like about this piece, for instance? I just thought he really hit the nail on the head with showing that kids, even at 19, can create like very um, technically well done and just very sophisticated artwork, even with something, even with a medium as complicated as bronze. Well, this one, my first thought was, how the hell did she take that photograph? <laughs> like, where did she find the means to do that? I don't know, there's something really just it's like a composite, like I really like the composition with just this guy in the middle and then all these like photographers and then I just thought it was just very well done. What do you like about that? I mean, what's not, not, not to like? <laughs> I mean, Rice Krispies, which I might eat every morning and putting it into something that's really kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I have like really a message to get across yet as an artist, but I just know that it's what I really like to do. And to do anything else, I mean, for me right now, it's just unimaginable.